When we talk about constitutional niceties here, we're not simply talking about the implications for what, for these three appointments, two of whom, by the way, were nominated uh, within uh, a couple of weeks of when uh, the president, uh, in my opinion, abused his authority under the Constitution and named them as recess appointments. But uh, be that as it may, the constitutional niceties referred to by Ms. Davis have implications far beyond those three members, do they not? They have implications far beyond the National Labor Relations Board, do they not? They have implications that affect really the power of the United States Senate uh, acting as the designated portion of the United States Congress uh, to advise and consent on presidential appointments with regard to virtually any appointment that would really uh, nullify the ability of the Senate to act in a timely fashion to review people uh, for appointments uh, if it were found that a couple of weeks after the president named somebody, when the president is in pro, when the Senate is in pro forma session, that any president going forward, this one or any in the future, could name anybody they wanted to uh, to any position uh, in the executive branch or judicial branch of our government. Is that not correct? The restrictions is probably very substantially, substantially expanded, and it's difficult to see what the limit of it would be in the political limits, Mr. Gutierrez. And those, uh, therefore, constitutional niceties referred to by Ms. Davis uh, are, in fact, uh, going right to the very core of the United States Constitution in terms of the ability of the legislative branch to provide a crucial check against the enormous uh, the executive branch of our government, which has grown and grown and grown in terms of the number of agencies, the number of uh, political appointments, the number uh, of powers that are exercised by that branch of the government, uh, to the detriment of those in the legislative branch who want to provide a check against the abuse of that power, uh, which uh, uh, one would think uh, exercising a recess appointment when the Senate is not in recess for uh, these three members of the, the National Labor Relations Board uh, by this president seems to be a very serious abuse of executive power. We're going to the call and the very careful design of the framers to divide the appointment power for vacant federal offices between the president as the nominating authority and the Senate as the information authority. Well, time has expired.